Hello everybody. I'm East Coast Pete and this is Type O Negative. This is a Brooklyn born goth metal band from 1989. Peter Steele, Kenny Hickey, and Sal Abruscoto and Josh Silver. They have lyrics and themes about romance, depression, and death, which prompted a nickname for the band. We call them the Drab Four. In 2010, Peter Steele died of a heart attack he had been the songwriter, so the band considered ungrouping. And what a gift this man was to music. He was extraordinary. Peter Steele had been lead singer in a band called Carnivore. This became type O negative when they signed with Roadrunner Records. Prior to this, Caravan, which used to be Fallout, would dress as warriors in torn clothing and spikes. There were two heavy metal albums, Carnivore and Retaliation. Type O Negative was Steele's next project. Black Sabbath style dirge riffs were what he wanted, so slow, deep, and hard the debut LP was that. It's a concept album about a guy who wants revenge on his cheating girlfriend. But instead of doing that, he kills himself. And that'll teach her. The follow-up was a title that is even too silly to appear here. The album has fake live recordings of songs from Slow, Deep, and Hard and a few new tracks, one of which is titled Hey Peter, a cover of Jimi Hendrix's Hey Joe, but with altered lyrics. And I can relate. Yes, I can. There's also a rendition of Black Sabbath's Paranoid with a little Iron Man thrown in for good measure. And they had much more success with album number three, Bloody Kisses, which went platinum. It's mostly about loneliness and heartbreak. So in other words, goth. One track, Set Me on Fire pays homage to 60s garage rock. Then they do a version of Summer Breeze by Seals and Crofts. Drummer Sal Abrusco quit. John Kelly, the band's drum tech, was made a member. They knew he could set up the drums. So... Sex and sensuality were topics of the next album titled October Rust. This is a nod to sex symbol Neil Young and they did a cover of his Cinnamon Girl. I was sold on the sex and sensuality part. The Green Man also makes an appearance in tarot, he represents the wandering fool, the one who asks questions of the tarot. So in other words, you. Russ charted to number 42. And then world coming down was even bleaker than its predecessors. Pete Steele was writing firsthand about deaths in his own family 
and this album went to number 39. A best of album titled The Least Worst of Type O Negative consisting of remixes and b-sides and a nifty cover of Black Sabbath's song Black Sabbath with different lyrics What's Ozzy say about this? The new lyrics change the narrative telling the story from Satan's point of view. And what's Satan say about this? You'll have to listen and find out. Want to? The sixth album, Life is Killing Me, went in 2003. And there is a song comprised of TV show names of women's characters and another called Angry Inch about a sex change operation mishap. The follow-up, Dead Again, went to number 27, the highest chart of theirs, and then Pete died in 2010. And the band ended. Here's Life is Killing Me. One, I don't want to be me. It's quite superb, landscapy, horizontal-esque. Two, less than zero. Such a talent to be so sad. This is Gary Newman-esque with a dash of sitar. Songs are twofers. Three, Todd's Ship Gods. It's sublime. Gets a wow from East Coast Pete. Three, I like Goyles. Sort of a nod to hetero, unless it's sarcasm. Five, a dish best served coldly, sort of a nod to Vlad Dracula. Six, how could she? This is the TV women's character song. It's got Alice Cramden, Morticia Adams, Ginger and Marianne, etc. Wilma Flintstone, Marsha Brady, Natasha Badenoff, Olive Oil, Penny Robinson, Wheezy Jefferson, Lois Lane, Ellie Mae Clampett, and many more. Seven, title track, Oscilloscope, included. <laughs> he sure likes green. Eight, Nettle. You know, this is a great album. Two wows. And nine, we were electrocute, sort of a nod to capital punishment. Ten, I the mighty thick eyes. Um, give me that. I, I, I don't know how to say this word, so I'll spell it for you. It's I-Y-D-M-I-G-T-H-T-K-Y. And there's an oboe. Maybe a synth oboe. False alarm. I'm always looking for oboes in music. Eleven. Angry Inch. And this one I'll pass. Twelve. Anesthesia. They don't leave much on the table. Thirteen. Drunk in Paris. And the dream is dead. Here's October Rust. What a troubadour we've lost. One. Bad ground. Thirty-nine seconds of hum. Two. Love you to death. This is a Piano Mood Anthem. Three, Be My Druidess. 
Celts have more fun. It's got range, soft baritone, and belting contralto. For a green man, it's pretty incredible. Five, red water. Christmas morning, there's our French horn. Six, die with me. Acoustic guitar, piano, three, four time, whoosh. Seven, my girlfriend's girlfriend. She's my girl too. Eight, burnt flowers fallen. Baba black sheep. Nine, in praise of Bacchus. You know who Bacchus is, he's the god of wine and partying outdoors. 10, Cinnamon Girl, roll those R's. Neil would be thrilled. And uh, 12, Wolf Moon, gentle. And 13, Haunted. Definitely haunted. And people, I have found another one, but this one's on the top of the munch. No, I didn't know about typo negative. Now they are in my top five all-time favorite bands. They are, in my opinion, the best band. Maybe it's because I've gotten so used to heavy metal now that I've reviewed so many of them. But this guy goes beyond heavy metal. He, he can do anything. And he's depressed. He's like a superhero in a comic book who happens to also be depressed I should have been around for this this would have been something that I would have liked a lot so anyway thanks for being with me on my show it's still the show with no name even though now I'm doing bands other than punk bands. <laughs> so you never know what's going to come up on my list. So stay tuned.